paano mag-change ng fractions from improper to mixed number and vice versa. Yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayong araw. Manood, makinig, mag-enjoy at makita. What is up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Humor PH. Andito na naman ang pabibo ninyong guro na punong puno ng humor and willing to give humor. Narito ako para tulungan ka na tulungan ang sarili mong matuto sa pumamagitan ng math pinadali, math pinasaya, at math pinaexciting na mathematics lessons. Ngayong araw nga pag-uusapan natin kung paano magpalit from improper fraction to mixed number and vice versa. Versa. Wag na wag mo tong palalagpasin. And also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell and share this to your friends para matuto rin sila ng lesson na to. Without further ado, let's get to our humor when turuan. Hi there everyone! Welcome sa ating panibagong lesson dito sa Humor PH. And today we're going to discuss about changing improper to mix number and vice versa. Ayan. So let's have first a quick review about fractions. Kapag sinabi natin fractions, commonly it is defined as part of a whole or proportion lang siya ng isang kabuoan. And it is not a whole number, of course. So for example, ito commonly used, one half. So meron din namang dalawang parts yung fractions. Ang taas ay tinatawag natin numerator and yung ibaba ay tinatawag natin na denominator. Else, ano pang kailangan natin malaman about fractions? Of course, we need to know also the types of fractions. Okay. And these are proper fraction and proper fraction and mixed number. Okay, these are the examples of proper fractions. Kapag sinabi natin proper fractions po, mas mababa sa numerator compared kay denominator. Ayan. Mababa ito, compare dito sa baba. And 1 and 2. 3 versus 4, mababa si 3. 15 versus 29, mababa si 15. Ibig sabihin, mas mababa si numerator compared kay denominator. Now, let's go with improper. Kapaligtaran lang naman ito ni proper fraction. Kung sa proper, mas mababa si numerator. Sa improper, mas mataas ngayon si numerator compared sa denominator. Ayan. 5 over 2, 4 over 3, 29 over 30. Ano naman kinaibahan ni mixed number? The mixed number, nagsama. Kaya nga mixed. Pinagsamang whole number and proper fraction. Tandaan? Samang whole number or integer, tapos proper fraction dapat yung kasama. Ayan. 1 half, 3 4, 15 over 9, lahat yung proper fractions. And meron dapat na whole number or integer sa unahan. 1 and 1 half, 2 and 3 4, 3 and 15 over 29. So those are the different types of fractions. Now let's go to our main topic for today. Let's discuss first how are you going to change mixed number to improper fraction. Ayan. Let's take this one. 2 and 1 half. Kapag change yan into improper fractions, we'll have 5 over 2. Paano? Let's start our discussion. Okay, mixed number to improper fractions. Let's have 2 and 1 half. Ganto lang po ang process na gagawin natin. Ayan. So dito, itong buong mixed number na yan, ang gagawin mo lang dito, itong dalawa muna, denominator times the whole number. Have to multiply. Again, first step, multiply si denominator sa kasi whole number. So what is 2 times 2? That is 4. Tandaan mo na yun. 4. After mong kuhanin itong dalawa, pa-plus naman natin yung nasa numerator. Again, ito ay 4. And ipa-plus yung 4 dito sa 1, pagiging sagot ay 5. At yung 5 na yon, siya ang magiging numerator natin. Okay, so I'll repeat. The first thing you have to do to get the numerator is that, multiply natin si denominator times the whole number. After that, after you get the product of that, ipa-plus natin kung ano man yung nasa numerator. And we'll have our numerator or improper function over. Now, saan natin kukuhanan ang denominator? Ang denominator, ganito lang kasimple. Kung ano si denominator ni mixed number, siya rin yung magiging denominator ng improper fraction. So, kopya-kopya lang. 
So, denominator, denominator din doon. So, that's 5 over 3. Okay. Para mas maintindihan, let's have another one. 9 and 3 fourth. Again, okay. first thing that we have to work on is numerator muna. Okay, paano yun kukunin? Itong denominator times the whole number. Multiply natin muna. 4 times 9, that is 36. Tandaan mo na yung 36. Ayan. After mo i-multiply yung dalawa, which is 36 ang yung result, i-plus natin yung nasa numerator. So, 36 ngayon plus 3, that is 39. And this will be the numerator of improper fraction. Over. Ito, basic. So, yung 4, kakopihin lang natin. Ayan. So, as simple as that. Ano lang pa ang pag-change ng this number to improper fraction. Multiply yung baba, saka yung whole, ni plus yung nasa numerator. Then, we'll get numerator and let's copy the denominator. Ayan. So, let's have naman yung kabalikaran. Improper fractions to mixed numbers. Ayan. Paano naman kung si 5 over 2 ang given? Tapos, ang gagawin natin ay ito change into mixed number. Okay. And one half yan kapag uh, change. So, paano? Yan da lang. Let's have 7 over 4. For example, number 1. So, ang gagawin lang natin dito, division. Uh, kasi kapag fraction kasi, division lang din naman yun. So, get, or in order to get mixed number, or equivalent mixed number of this, hindi ba natin sa 7 doon sa 4? Yan. So, 7, 7 yung nasa loob, 4 yung nasa labas. Ganun yun. 7 divided by 4, we have 1. 1 times 4, 4. Tapos ma-minus natin. 7 minus 4, that's 3. Ayan. So, hindi na pwede. We divide by 4, hindi na pwede. We have to stop. Stop na tayo doon. So, okay. Kailangan natin ng remainder. Kapag dito. Hindi mo na siya itutuloy to get the decimal point. Hindi na. Kailangan ng remainder for us to change improper to mixed number. So, anong gagawin natin? Paano natin ito matatandaan? Ang gagawin mo lang, mag-drawing ka ng letter J. Ayan. Anong unang tinamaan? Si 1. Followed by 3. Dadaanan si 3. Hanggang kay 4. So, ibig sabihin, if we are going to write this into mixed number, 1, ito yung magiging whole number. Ayan. Letter J, 1, and E, ang susunod na anan, over 4. 1 and 3, 4. Ganon. Letter J, tandaan mo lang yung letter J, para mag-change ng improper to mixed number. So, we'll have 1 and 3, 4 now as our final answer. Ayan. Pa, let's have another example in changing improper to mixed number. Let's have 15 over 7. Again, Si 15, sa loob natin ilalagay, i-divide natin yung dalawa. Divide that by 7. So, then perform the division. 15 divided by 7, we'll have 2. Diba? Dalawang 7 ang meron si 15. 2 times 7, that's 14. Let's subtract 15 and 14. 15 minus 14, that's 1. Yan. So, hindi na pwede. Kailangan ng remainder, so enough. Tapos na ang pagsasolve natin. Now, mag-drawing ka ng letter J. Ano yung unang tatamaan? Tapos yung kasunod. Tapos yung pinakadulo. Siya yung way ng pagsusulat natin. Okay. Kaya, 2. Siya yung whole number. And followed by 1, which is the numerator now. And 7 will be the denominator. So, that's how you change improper fractions. Mixed number. Now, if ever na nabilisan ka sa discussion natin or meron kang uh, hindi masyado na gets, you may go back to that lesson. Baka panoorin mo muna saglit. And then, you'll proceed now to our humor drill. Ayan. So, for our humor drill, I'll give you four items to answer. Then, uh, I'll give, I'll pause for a while, then I'll get back to you to give the answers. Kapag Bibigyan ako ng sagot at hindi ka patapos, feel free to pause the video para masagot mo ito ng maayos. Ayan. So, I'll give you time now. 
Okay, timer starts now. Alright, time is up. But let me give you now the answer. Let's have number one. Number one, five and four over nine. So since this is mixed improper, so ang gagawin natin, di ba mamultiply natin itong dalawa, si denominator sa kasi whole number, and whatever the product here, we'll add yung four na nasa numerator. So let's do that. Nine times five, forty-five. And then, naman si 45. Kasi si 45, yung pa plus mo sa 4. 45 plus 4, that's 49. So, that will be our numerator. And, walang kahirap-hirap for, for denominator, just copy 9. So we have 49 over 9 for this one. Next, number 2. 12 and 2 over 10. Now, at the medyo tricky lang. We can do now, pwede naman natin gawin yung 10 times 12, 10 plus 2, yes, that's fine. Pero sa dulo kasi nun, mag lowest term tayo. I hope you are familiar with the term, lowest term, or smallest term. Ganon. Ganito ang gagawin natin. Change muna natin si ano, si over 10. Si 12, retain na yan. Hindi mo na yan gagalawin kasi whole number siya. Now, sa fraction kasi, hanggang kaya mo siyang gawing mas mababa, yung tinatawag na lowest term, you have to do that. So, ang gagawin natin dito, kung meron mga ka-divide sa 2 sa ka sa 10, na tinatawag natin GCF, divide pa natin siya. Ano ba yung common sa sa ka sa 10? Pwede siyang i-divide kay 2. Tama? Pareho silang pwedeng i-divide kay 2. Okay. Yan muna ang una natin gagawin. Kapag nakita mong pwede pang i-lowest term yung fraction. Ganto. Si 12 remain. Again, hindi mo nagagawin yung 12 kasi whole number yan. Nagawa lang to kapag fraction. Now, what is 2 divided by 2? 1. Ayan. Over. Divided by 2. 5. Ayan. So, eto na ngayon ang change natin into uh, improper fraction. Actually, yung kanina pwede naman. Pwede namang diretsyo na 10 times 12 plus 2. Ganon. So, ang magiging problem doon, mataas na yung number na ilo-lowest term natin. And mas malaki yung chance na magkamali tayo sa ating final answer. And like this one, this one, ito times mo na lang, kasi pa plus mo. And whatever the result there, yun na yung final answer. Kasi naka-lowest term na po yung fraction. Ayan. So, 5 times 12. Yung process, that's 60. Tapos yung 60, tandaan mo na, kasi pa plus mo yun dito sa 1. 60 plus 1, that's 61. So, that will be our numerator. And denominator, walang kahirap-hirap, kopyahin mo lang si 5. So, we'll have 61 over 5 for number 2. Ayan. Next, number 3. 10 over 3. Kaya bang ilawis term? Hindi na. So, let's proceed now to uh, changing this. So, since improper mix, kailangan natin siyang divide. So, 10 sa loob, 3 sa labas. Ayan. So, si 10 divided by 3, ilang 3 meron sa 10? 3. 3 times 3, we'll have 9. Tapos, subtract 10 and 9, we'll have 1. Okay na kung may remainder, tapos hindi na pwedeng i-divide sa 3, okay na yan. So, now, drawing ka ng letter J. Tinamaan si 3, sumunod si 1, sumunod si 3. So, that's 3 and 1 third. Muna, yung nasa taas. Maan si J, naanan si 1, numerator, denominator si 3. So, that's 3 and 1 third. Last number. Ito medyo tricky ulit. 15 over 6. Bakit ko sinabi medyo tricky na yan? Kasi nga po, 15 sa kayong 6, meron silang common. Or pwede mo silang ilawis term pa, bago natin siya isolve. 
Bakit? Si 15 sa kasi 6, divisible yan sa 3. Or pwede mo siyang i-divide kay 3. So, i-divide muna natin before we proceed to our uh, changing improper to mix. So, pwede natin. I-divide muna natin si 15 sa kasi 6 sa 3. 15 divided by 3, that's 5. And 6 divided by 3, that's Again, ang kagandahan nito, since napababa na natin siya, naging mas lower na yung number, mas madali sa atin ngayon yung pag-divide. Unlike this one. Ayan. 15 sa kasi 6, mas malaking number, mas, medyo mas mahirap siyang i-divide. Unlike this one. So, yun ang kagandahan ng ilalawis term muna. Ayan. So, again, si 5 sa loob, si 2 sa labas. Ang 2 meron sa 5 or 5 divided by 2, dalawa. Times 2, that's 4. 5 minus 4 will have 1. Ayan. Okay na. May remainder. Then, sulat si letter J. Ito ang unang binaanan. So, that's the whole number. Followed by 1. That's the numerator. And followed by 2. That's the denominator. We'll have 2 and 1 half. Ayan. So, that's the final answer. Okay. I know that you did well to this. Uh, you more, Jill. And we want to know your scores in the comment section. Please. Type that on the comment section below. And I want to see you in our next video. See you in our next lessons. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. And if you find this helpful, please don't forget to click the like button there. And don't forget to subscribe and share this to your friends. Yeah, And also, don't forget that you deserve more. You can learn more and you can be more. Hashtag. You more PH. Bye bye. See you in our next video.